Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. So often in these meetings, the end of the day is a channeling that is personal. It's often more for those in the group here live than anyone who might be listening. Indeed, those who listen will glean the energy, perhaps. Maybe there'll be some information that is new to them. I am so aware, dear ones, of who is here. Spirit knows who's listening, no matter when they listen. A year from now, two years, there is a potential of who is listening. Even now, I can tell you. It's in the future, but the potential is there. And Spirit knows the time is in this beautiful circle. But even though there is that, I want to speak to you here before me. Humans all. I have never been a human. There is enamorment, if you can call that, from this angelic source. Not just the love. I know how you tick. I know how you work. I know what you think. And that is why I'm here. To try to soothe the soul who wants to make up things. Who wants to get involved, perhaps, in, in the dramas that are, are not even there. In order to help you across this beautiful time passage of the old energy to the new. My partner asked the question when he was fully aware that he would be channeling for the rest of his life. He asked me the question, why now? He said, why at this age? And I told him then there was no age. And it was the beginning of his teaching and his learning about his own body and about something that lurked within it, which is not understood but used so much by those who are sitting in the chairs. We have defined it in so many ways. We have put it in ways that split it apart and put it back together. We've given it numbers of names, but the one you know is innate. We've defined where it goes in the scheme of the nine. We've told you where it goes in the scheme of the three. Innate is so special for you. And innate is something that responds to consciousness. Let's start at the beginning. Every single human has an esoteric body that is called the innate. Would you say it was biological? It is linked to your biology, so much so that you call it the smart body. Is it linked to spirit? Yes. It is linked to that which is your higher self and also to the biology of your higher self, the pineal. Is it part of your heart and brain? Absolutely. Does it govern things no what it does is communicate and so the innate is the great communicator of your body it helps give you information and it also receives it the body itself has its own healing mechanism we've told you about the health template We've told you about the Genesis cells. We've given you information that the body stands ready 
to take information in through the innate and then the innate communicates to the cells the cells are always listening and consciousness is the overview of all of it now why I'm giving you this which is a review is because I would like to describe something that some of you are already doing but it's so beautiful it's an enhanced tool in this age dear ones I'm going to give you information of an enhanced tool that you can use with an eight some of you as I say will simply hear the definition of what you've already been doing and for some of you you need to hear this and so you have the human body with this wonderful esoteric body called innate some would ask it where is it and the answer is everywhere is it the Merkaba of the body no but it is linked to it so that smart body which is the innate is part of the bridge you might say between the 3d and the multi D it is that part of the body that communicates with all of the cells at once if needed it's the part of the body literally that can receive from you the profound consciousness and transform it to spontaneous remission that is the innate it's that part of the body that you can muscle test it's the smart part it's the smart part that responds to the tapping it's the smart part that responds to that which is being interviewed by another human innate now I have a question for you and it is a question that may be esoteric but it has a very very easy answer the human being biologically may be out of balance perhaps that even creates a mental problem perhaps the human is in psychosis perhaps the human is so far out of balance that they've had to seek a healer of some kind and there they lay on the table question is the innate also unbalanced the answer as you very well know is it's always balanced the innate is connected to source so it doesn't matter how out of balance the human being is innate is always pure always ready this is the reason dear ones affirmations work for even if you are seeking balance and don't have it in some part of your body or your psyche or your consciousness the secret to balance has always been the fact that you have something in you which is always balanced and that is listening and will bring you back into that place whether it's health or mental or consciousness or fear now you know that when you open the meditation that you do or you speak to God you're dealing with another part of you which is always balanced which is connected to source and the higher self and the pineal and ready to go this is the most beautiful engine of the human being that exists in you because it is always balanced and always ready there's two bridges one is you to innate and the other one is innate to spirit innate to spirit is always controlled by the energy of the planet did you get that so if the planet is in a low state of energy there's a veil 
And as good as it wants to, innate can only go through that veil to the degree that you will allow it through the consciousness of the planet. That is shifting. So right away, I am telling you that the innate is able to cross that bridge through the pineal and the higher self to talk to spirit and get that which is what you deserve based upon the peace of God in you, the veil, as defined, is lifting slightly. It requires you, however, to cross the other bridge. And that's the one from you to innate. That's the hardest one. We've spoken of it before. It requires that you cognize the system. Simpler words. It requires you believe it. And that is difficult because that has not necessarily been taught in this particular way. How many times have you heard in order to get to God, you've got to suffer a little? You just broke the bridge. How many times have you been told that you... You better get on your knees because God is up there and you're down here and you're not worthy. Well, if you believed it, you just broke the bridge. The bridge expects you to understand there is magnificence here. To raise up out of your seat, to be proud enough to say, Dear innate, and then state who you are. Give the affirmations, knowing that you're worthy. Because you have inside you God. The energy of what you would say is the Christ itself is in you. This is taught here. It's written on the walls here. And maybe that's why you're here this day. To know that God dwells in you to such a degree that the bridges can be built so easily. But that's not what I want to tell you. Question. If a human is out of balance, is innate out of balance? No, innate is perfect. Innate is pure. And so item number one, you can heal yourself through innate. But this is the question that has been on the minds of healers for so long. And the question is that, if your innate is in balance, can you somehow transfer that to an unbalanced human being? It's well known that it is difficult for any human to muscle test <laughs> someone else with their muscles. Can you muscle test with your innate someone else? The jury is still out because you're not really asking the right question. Let me tell you something that healers know. There's some of you, no matter what profession you say you're in, who are soul communicators. You'll step into the room before the patient opens their mouth, you know what's wrong. <laughs> Medical intuitives can look at a human being and know what's wrong. By the way, they also can see what's right because they see a picture. The picture is not in 3D or 2D or even 4D. It is something that is perceived by their innate. So suddenly I'm telling you something that you already know, but I've just given you the process. Your innate can sense someone else's innate and give you information about it. Now that's called a gift. But what if this gift were starting to expand? What if it was expanding to the degree that it starts to involve your intuition? 
so that you could literally stand in front of somebody else and know what they're thinking or what their unbalance is or what to say to them to give them peace this is an expanded gift of healing but it goes beyond that what I'm telling you is this is that your innates are starting to overlap because you're allowing it through a higher consciousness and the timing of this shift is starting to give you an enhanced ability to do this I have just given you the secret of an enhanced evolved human being and why you will never go to war someday because you will be expanding this so that you'll feel the other people and so you will have the compassion to know what they're going through and what they're like instead of an old way of wondering of trying and tricking or surrounding yourself and competing what if there comes a time when compassion is something the whole group feels for one another instantly just because you're together ask a healer in this room is it possible that you can sense what's wrong and what's right with the patient and they'll say yes I do it all the time now extend that make the field bigger if you don't think you've had the gift I will tell you it's sitting there waiting for you to cross the bridge and you'll say well I'm not a healer dear ones what I am saying to you is wouldn't it be nice to feel what the other person next to you is about so that you can give them the right information so you can give them the right emotions so you can create coherence together you're not muscle testing your innate for someone else you're actually combining the fields of two innates so that you can sense what they sense but so that they can also sense the balance you have it helps the healer to know where to go what to touch what to say it helps the medical intuitive to identify and help heal what if it stopped being an extraordinary gift and instead became common it's happening healers in the room are going to hear it are going to hear it in a way they've never done before they're going to have an enhanced feeling of their senses they'll be able to know things that that they haven't known before because the senses that they didn't think were involved suddenly are some will smell it this is an enhancement of, of, a, of, of a human being who has start to evolve with everything you have but the best one that's coming is the combining of innates in such a way that there is understanding and communication and compassion between souls do you think that would help you in the workplace <laughs> oh yes do you think it would help you understand your boss <laughs> not just understand but be compassionate in order to give that boss balance understanding productivity because of that do you think it might help you with your children oh I have something to tell you about your children uh, they already have it that is why some adults don't want to be with certain young people at a certain age did you know that because those young people look right through you you know what they're thinking you're exposed they already know some of you have experienced this it's an uncomfortable feeling isn't it that's what I'm talking about but they're not looking at you in judgment they're looking at the compassion factor do you think it could help you in relationships with your partner 
I know who's here. Listen. Do you think you have a partner you've distanced yourself so far from that there's no hope? I know who's here. Listen, I know who's here. I want to tell you that that spark of compassion is still there. It still is there. To be able to combine that, if you choose to, with understanding and peace, it's like reaching out and holding their hand for the first time. Because that's pure. And that's possible. It's new. It's part of the evolution of humankind. I have seen this before. Dear ones, there have those who have had a question that really hasn't been asked. Cryon, were you with the Pleiadians when they went through this? Was there a Cryon channel for the Pleiadians? Yes. Yes. And yes. Wasn't called Cryon because they didn't speak your language. Difficult to pronounce because they had vocal cords that were different, split into two, making double sounds in speech at the same time. But dear ones, I was there and I watched what you are going through today back then. Did the planet that seated them go through it? Yes. Was there a cryon? Yes. What I'm telling you is this. This is beautiful. There is precedent. It's not new. I have seen it. All of you have free choice. And the free choice just tempers whether you believe in the bridge, whether you'll use the bridge, or how quickly you'll understand the bridge. But the bridge is there. It's there to be crossed, just like for all of those races on the other planets before you. Biology, a little different. Humanoid, yes. But dear ones, the innate was the same because it's connected to spirit. God is God. And they had the same God that you have. That's why their graduate planet was so so beautiful because it exemplified that love that you feel right now. The seed that was put into you by the Pleiadians to give you 23 three-dimensional pairs of chromosomes and one multi-dimensional pair, number 24, is that is the Pleiadian. And that is the same God that created this planet. It's in them, it's in you. And the one that helped create this, this beautiful ground and the village that you're in. I've seen this before. And all I'm telling you is this is the beginning for old souls of a new time. Question, is it too new for you? Will you cross the bridge? Will you wait till you come back when it's easier? Or will you, will you take the gauntlet that I've thrown down to you and said, what is age? Do you have any idea how your body is designed? If you had an idea, it's not designed to age. Are you aware of that? It rejuvenates itself. That's not a body designed to age. And the only thing that ages you is that DNA which is only working at about 33 to 34% that makes the replication of your cells less than it should be. Where the telomeres start to shorten instead of staying the same length. That is changeable with the bridge. You cross the bridge, you start talking to innate, you give it instructions, stop aging. And you can watch it in the mirror. You can watch your friends who don't have this information that you wish did and won't have it. They will age much 
faster than you. I throw down the gauntlet and say, do it and see if I'm right. Can you slow down the body clock? Yes. Hundreds of years. Your body is designed to last hundreds of years. That's the plan. When you start aging less as a civilization, you'll have all kinds of medical journals. Be front page. What's happening to humanity? Why is it that you're living so much longer with so fewer drugs? <laughs> and that magazine cover is coming. It takes a while. Your body is so ready for you, <laughs> for a consciousness that is grown up. It's time for the grown up to come out of there and talk to the bridge and say, I know you. Let's get going. I sit in a magnificent place designed for channelers designed for listeners in a chapel that was built for prayer for an age <laughs> that the creators actually saw coming and so it is <laughs>